Well, it's been one week since I posted a video. Didn't get enough likes, but I'm still not angry. You'll notice the movie starts here, at Seattle's Cary Park. Cat Stratford and other students stop at a non-existent stoplight, or crosswalk, and are supposed to be on their way to school. But there's one big problem with that. Most of the movie doesn't actually take place in Seattle, but in fact, in Tacoma, including all of the school scenes, which were filmed here, at Stadium High School in Tacoma, Washington, which also happens to be where I went to school. Now you'll notice the big S in the courtyard, which of course stands for Stadium. The movie producers changed that out for a P, for Padua High School, and then wrote the name above the doorway ledge as well, where it says Stadium High School in real life, and I'll point that out in a moment. As my drone continues to get higher, notice the beautiful blue waters of the Puget Sound behind the school. It really is the most gorgeous school in the world. And it's not a coincidence that the movie was made here. This was not the original intended filming location, but when the movie makers saw pictures of this, they aborted their original plans and knew they had to film it here. This school was the whole reason why this movie was made in the Pacific Northwest. In addition to a major movie obviously being filmed here, Babe Ruth played a baseball game here, three American presidents spoke here including Theodore Roosevelt, and when it was built, the football field known as the Stadium Bowl was quite a marvel around the world. A number of the opening scenes were filmed here in the school's courtyard. Now as I come up to the ledge above the doorway, you'll notice it says Stadium High School instead of Padua. The school is not only beautiful, but has an incredible history as well dating back to the 1800s. I talk about it quite a bit in my Tacoma video if you want to check that out. Julia Stiles character Kat Stratford was not too excited about the prom so she tore down this poster and that happened right here. Let me demonstrate. Hey! Super accurate. Here's a little peek on the inside, but a warning, the school did get remodeled on the inside after the filming of the movie. They also added the building across the courtyard you saw there. And this parking garage. It used to be just a parking lot, but they have since built a garage over the top of it. Thanks for spoiling it for everybody else. Now we're looking down at the football field known as the Stadium Bowl. You may recognize the scene here where Michael accidentally drives his scooter off the edge into the brush below there. Now, like I said before, there was only a parking lot then, and not the garage on top. But the fence was always here. They removed it for the movie because that scene would not have worked obviously with it. But in real life, that never would have been possible. And of course, here he is after crashing, looking back up the stadium bowl. Now on to our next filming location. Also in North Tacoma, this is the house of Cat Stratford, and Bianca Stratford, also known as Larissa Olenek and Julia Stiles. Here's a screenshot from the movie, from the same angle. You can see the house looks very much the same as it did then. Here is the porch that Julia and Heath and Larissa would sit on and talk. And don't forget, Joseph Gordon-Levitt came by for a few visits as well.
North Tacoma is full of large, gorgeous old houses, and this is clearly one of them. This beauty was built in 1907 and has stunning views of the Puget Sound from two different directions. That bird's voice is ah ah annoying. All right, beautiful North Tacoma. Now let's head to downtown Tacoma for our next scene. This is probably not recognizable. This side of the street looks completely different. The building on this side of the street has been redone, but this is the side of the music shop where Julia Stiles comes out and is confronted by Heath Ledger. This used to be a Ted Brown music store, and in the movie it was called Gill's Music. However, on the other side of the street that you see here, it still looks the same. In this frame from the movie where Cat smashes into Joey's car, you can notice the green awning up above that says Gallery, the American Art Company, and Framing. As you can see, those words are still there now. And it looks like you're also still not allowed to park for more than two hours. I'm not sure if it's become legal to smash into someone else's car. I know a lot of other laws have become laxed, so it wouldn't surprise me. Now this is the Fremont Troll. This scene is actually filmed in Seattle, as the Fremont Troll is a popular Seattle landmark located under the Aurora Bridge. Cameron and Bianca stop in front of here to have a talk about Bianca's sister Kat. That is a real VW bug under there. It used to be colored red, now they've just made it blah colored. And they've taken away the ivy. But you've always been encouraged to climb on the Troll and take pictures. A lot of people are a little bit scared to climb up on the head because it's a bit steep up there. So I did it for you. There I am. Now on to the next scene. This building's color has changed quite a bit and its purpose has as well. It used to be called the Buckaroo Bar and now it's a French restaurant. I wanted to go inside and film a little bit but since it's an active restaurant I couldn't. In fact, they kind of overly freaked out about me just walking by with the camera. A little bit strange, but okay. Anywho, I'm sure you figured out this is where they filmed the bar scene where Cameron and Michael meet Patrick. Now, this is the scene where Patrick follows Kat into the bookstore. And this did indeed used to be a bookstore, but it is now a gift shop called Portage Bay. Not to be confused with Little Miss Muppet's Curds and Whey or the porridge of Goldilocks. Completely different. So as you can see it looks a little bit different without having bookshelves, but there are some kind of shelves anyway. So I showed you the inside. You can kind of get the idea. And it might still be a nice place to have someone get mad at you and storm off, as they sell I'm sorry cards. So come on in and give it a shot. It's never too late to make someone else mad. And now back to Stadium High School as we go down into the Stadium Bowl for one of the most popular scenes in the movie, the scene where Heath Ledger's character Patrick sings the Frankie Valley classic song, Can't Take My Eyes Off You. And again you'll notice, in the middle of the field, they switch the Stadium S for a P. And now, here's the broadcast booth, where Heath Ledger slid down the pole that does not exist. And here he is walking under the broadcast booth, and you'll look here and you can see the real one. And a side bit of information if anybody's wondering, that scrub brush 
the plants in the middle of the seats did not always used to be there. I believe as the story goes in 1980, a storm drain broke and washed the seats down and knocked off some of the edge of the bowl as well. It used to be a little bit longer and had seats that went all the way around. So that's the story with that. Now you'll notice this is about the spot where Heath is running around and singing and in a moment of course the police officers or security whatever they were are chasing him out. But yeah you can see that's basically about the spot and he kind of runs back and forth from here to there. Now another comment you'll get a lot from people who haven't been here very often is, wow, those steps are tall. But those aren't steps, those are seats, that's why. To the right, those are steps, and they're not so bad. So there's where Heath ran around and sang, and here's Julia's reaction on the field. Another interesting bit of information, they use Stadium's real colors in this movie, which are gold and blue, and most of the extras in this movie were stadium students, including their real soccer team, real track members, real band members, and so on. Let's have a little look around. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Or I guess the song I'm supposed to be singing is You're, You're just, just too good, good to be to true, true. Can't, Can't take, take my, my eyes off, off of you, you. I, love I love you baby, you, baby. And if and it's if quite, quite alright I need you baby, you, baby. To warm a lonely night, night And let me love you baby Let me love you The scene ends with a wide angle shot of him running up the stairs Pretty much like this And now back to Seattle you see them in a paddle boat in Lake Union. Notice the airplane over their shoulder. You will see these seaplanes landing several times in Lake Union coming up here in my video. It's a frequent occurrence. So over to your right is the Aurora Bridge and back in the distance here now is the Space Needle and of course downtown Seattle. Where we're at now is Gasworks Park and that is where in the movie Cat and Patrick of course have their paintball fight. Now the paintball part was just made up for the movie. That's never been a thing. But Gasworks Park is a pretty cool park. It's definitely unique and definitely different. It's located on the site of the former Seattle Gas Light Company gasification plant. The plant operated from 1906 to 1956 and it was bought by the city of Seattle to be used as a park in 1962. And here you can see one of those seaplanes I was talking about coming down for a landing in Lake Union. And here's the Aurora Bridge one more time. Now, 
Now the scene where Kat and Patrick have their first kiss should be right about here. Well, there's some paint, but I'm gonna say that came from cans, and not from balls. And here's where the paintball scene ends. I think I'm pretty much in the same place. And finally the prom scenes. Now the prom scene itself, where the dance floor was, is in the Century Ballroom. And you can't really get much in there unless you're going dancing. And the outside really doesn't look like much. But the hallway with the chandelier and the stairways was filmed here at the Paramount Theater in downtown Seattle. And of course the movie ends with the band Letters to Cleo singing on the roof and a helicopter going around the school. I want you to watch my video. I need you to need my video. I'd love you to like my video. I'm begging you not to beg on my video. And of course, feel free to hit that like button because you can love your Prada backpack and still like my video.